That's a somewhat tricky question because there were a lot of different inspirations, but um, it was composed last year, last fall, and uh, I was, it was a very busy year, so I was touring extensively with my rock band Wilco and also composing a lot. So, and while I was touring, I um, was in a lot of different uh, geographical locations, and one particular one, when I started formulating ideas for the piece, I was in Muir Woods in Northern California, the Redwoods. Um, which is beautiful, and then like the week after that, I was down in Brazil, um, in a heavily vegetated area, and was just surrounded by all these trees. And around that same time, I also heard um, a Radio Lab, uh, the show Radio Lab podcast, and it was about the the newly discovered kind of hidden connection between trees through the hyphae through the uh, fungus um, that kind of connects different trees. And there's theories that they're able to you know share resources and send kind of messages to each other in a certain way and um, and kind of communicate almost like a larger biological system. I just thought that was fascinating and the idea, you know, thinking constantly about orchestra and all the different people and individuals and sections working together as well in this large ensemble and something just kind of made sense like, oh, I wonder if I investigate trying to use um, something like just the architecture of a tree um, as the architecture of this piece, if that would work. And it sounded like a fun enough jumping off point to at least pursue it. Since I was going to be soloing with this one, um, I wanted to you know, use my kind of multiple percussion drum kit, and so I knew that it would be slightly more groove oriented and maybe less traditional classical sounding and somewhere in some hybrid territory genre wise. Um, with the CYSO, I'd seen you guys play a few times, and I knew that, oh, they can kind of handle anything I throw at them. Mm -hmm. And at least the percussionists, I knew, like, if I write these tricky disjunct rhythms that are kind of all over and changing every measure, I think they can handle it. Um, and the same thing goes with the rest of the, the ensemble. So I didn't change my approach at all. I kind of wrote, like, they can handle this, even though it's the same parts I would write for a professional instrument.